Here are the top seven new features in the Edge browser. The first new feature is the sidebar in Edge. And this is something that's rolling out now. So if you don't see it, you should see it very soon, but you can get it from Edge Insiders. Link is on the screen. So over on the right hand side, you can see this nice little sidebar that gives me quick access to lots of useful stuff. Click the magnifying glass for a quick search. Right here is discover. So you can actually put in little keywords if you want to discover content. I've added some topics on the Edge browser, so there's kind of some nice links, but you could add other things right here. There's a nice little toolbox. So calculator, some unit conversion, even an internet speed test, all right there. We've got things like games. And one of my favorites is quick access to Office. So if I click this, all my Office apps are right here. So if I want to click Word for the web, really quick access, I could choose PowerPoint, Excel, OneDrive, etc. I could even see all my apps right here. There's all my free Office web apps. And also, similarly, I've got my Outlook access here. So if I click Outlook, it brings up Outlook just right here in the right-hand bar. So I can even click here to access this as an email from TechSmith, Camtasia, which I'm a big fan of. You can even hit the plus button and you can turn on and off different things. So maybe I want to turn off games and tools and leave the other ones on. I'll close that. Now my little sidebar is customized. To turn the sidebar on and off, if I go to the three-dot menu here, then go down to Settings, and then go to Appearance, and these are the Edge settings. If I scroll down, I can go here and say Show Sidebar. I can turn that off, and then the sidebar disappears, or I can turn it back on. And to reiterate, this is in the early Edge builds. If you don't see this yet, go to Edge Insiders so you can get the latest and greatest updates and play with this. The second new feature is read aloud in the Edge toolbar up here, and I can read aloud from any page. And I really like this feature because my team helped build this in the past. So right here is the little A button, read aloud this page, and there's a shortcut key, Control Shift U. So I'm gonna click read aloud. Announcing an expanded literacy portfolio to reach every learner. So you'll notice neural text to speech, really high quality, and this is in many different languages. If I go to voice options, I can choose some of the different voices and there's a bunch here, all these different languages. I can make the reading speed faster or slower and this works on any web page. So let's just go to Wikipedia. Here's a Wikipedia page all about office space and those good old TPS reports. Let's read that out loud, click A. Office space from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. So now you can read aloud from any page in the web. The third new feature is easily adding text to a PDF. Now Edge is a great PDF reader and I have my PDF open here, my next generation TPS report. And I wanna sign something or I wanna add text, maybe you're filling out a form. And I'm just gonna add text where it says sign here. So on the toolbar right here, there's an add text. Click this and now just go and click where you want it to go. I will click here and I'm gonna start typing my name, Mike Tholfson. I can change the color of this if I want. I can make it black. I can make the text bigger or smaller. So I click here and the text is bigger or smaller. I can stretch it out a little bit or make it more tight or delete. So it's really handy to be able to click anywhere on the page. So I'll go down in here and click right here. Maybe I'll type Bill Lumberg. So this makes it really easy to fill out forms and PDFs. And when you're done, just go in the upper right and now I click the save button and I'm gonna save a copy. My next gen TPS report PDF, hit save. Now I'm ready to go. The fourth new feature is text predictions in Edge. So I'm gonna to go to the three dot menu here and we'll go down to settings to enable text predictions. Now on the left hand side, choose languages. And right here, you're gonna see Microsoft Editor Preview. And by default, this should be on. If it's not on for some reason, just go flip that switch to on. And this is show text predictions when typing. And we're gonna leave this on. Text predictions are those things like you see on your phone when you start typing and the words pop up that might be suggested. So now I can do this in Edge on anywhere I'm typing text. So let's go try Outlook. I'm here in Outlook for the web and I'm gonna create a new message for Bill Lumberg. So I've given it an address and a subject and now when I start typing, you can notice that it suggests a question about, okay, that looks good, I'll hit tab and I keep typing. Do I really need to? Yep, that looks good. And if you don't like a suggestion, you can just ignore the tab and keep typing and it will just type whatever you are gonna be doing in the first place. The fifth new feature is improvements to sleeping tabs and performance and how we show that to users. So I'm here and I'm really focused on my next generation TPS report. And in the meantime, I had a bunch of tabs open in Edge, so I'll switch back. 
So I had all these tabs open, news sites, YouTube videos that were playing, all sorts of stuff. And with sleeping tabs, it will put those tabs to sleep so they don't take up so much memory in the background. So if you go to the three dot menu here and then choose performance, here are some updates right here in particular that shows what's happening with sleeping tabs. So right now, four of these nine tabs are sleeping to save resources. And it shows how much actual savings you're getting. So I'm getting about 0.54 gigabytes of memory back when these tabs are sleeping. Now I've set my efficiency mode to always, which is kind of nice. You can also change it to unplugged or if you're on low battery or never, but I'm gonna leave mine on always. So it'll always put those tabs to sleep if I'm doing something else in the background, like writing a TPS report in Word. The sixth new feature is an improvement to find on a page. So I'm gonna do control F to bring up the find dialog. And now I'll type the word start. It immediately looks for related matches as well. So initiate or launch. So I can get on the page now and find some similar types of words really quickly. And if I don't wanna have this include related matches, just flip this switch off. And now it just goes down to the specific word you're looking for, which in this case is start. The seventh new feature is a really important one, especially if you're a student, and that is that there is a new character, a penguin added to the Edge surf game. There's the surfing game. Check it out, there's a new penguin character. So I'm gonna hit the space bar and start playing. And you can navigate back and forth with your little surfboard. I think this game is much cooler than the kind of lame dinosaur game that you have in other browsers. So I've got my penguin surfing, pretty major upgrade. Be sure to share this one with your students. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.